uh, we we um, uh, have pre been preparing the aircraft uh, since it arrived here um, to fly. And so at 11 o'clock on uh, Sunday morning, um, we got uh, this vehicle, uh, Air Vehicle 2, uh, side number 502 Airborne here at Patuxent River. Um, and for folks that have not seen it, uh, there's some uh, YouTube video out there and there's uh, plenty of information out. Uh, 35 minute planned flight. Uh, one of the uh, uh, really uh, uh, unique and interesting things about this vehicle is when uh, you send it out for a test flight um, for 35 minutes, it comes back at 35 minutes after the hour. So as they come up into the, the carrier airspace, uh, they'll first talk to the marshal controller who's going to get them all uh, lined up and ready to go. How far from the ship is that? Um, so that's uh, anywhere out to the limits of radio range. Okay. So then uh, what normally would happen is we use uh, radar based approaches. So there's an approach A and approach B to allow uh, frequency separation. We of course because of the digital data link are not limited by that frequency separation but we do duplicate our, our functionality on both, but it'd be handled over to approach to bring them in on the final approach and sequence them in and, and monitor them on approach. Uh, at a point where a, a manned aircraft would be in visual range of the carrier, it would be handed off to the landing signal officer, safety officer or the air boss as appropriate. So when you get on a uh, aircraft carrier flight deck, how are we going to move this vehicle around? How are we gonna get it out of the uh, arresting wires? How are you gonna get it into the catapult? Um, so we put together the concept of operations. Uh, we've built the hardware, um, and we have a. Uh, uh, um, uh, he's actually going to be the uh, the operator um, as we start doing our taxi risk reduction um, here at Patuxent River um, around on the airfield um, before we take it to uh, the carrier later on this fall. Um, so that's a uh, that's a uh, something that uh, from from my search has never been done before is a handheld controller uh, for a uh, uh, for an unmanned vehicle. It really is, this is more to, to prove, you know, some of these key things. It's a uh, autonomous landing system to bring the aircraft, you know, you know aboard. It's the, uh, uh, the, the idea that unmanned systems don't have a, uh, a limit in terms of manned endurance. Um, and then it's uh, some of the, uh, the key things like no cockpit and no tail um, and, and everything that, that we're proving out. And then the whole idea is that those lessons that we learn, once you do it, then you convey it to what, what capabilities 